North Korea crisis, we do not have the luxury of time X US official warns him but WW3 fears. John Bolton, who served under George W. Bush, said, the issue is, is there a way to go after the facilities that we know about and destroy them? I think that is entirely doable. The problem is that any use of force against North Korea such as a targeted assassination of Kim Jong-un, the use of special operatives or cyber warfare could trigger a North Korean retaliation against South Korea. That is what people are most worried about and legitimately so. You have to look at it in a very cold and objective way, because the threat to the America people of North Korea not only having this capability itself but selling it to others selling it to Iran and terrorist groups. We don't have the luxury of time anymore and I think it's that constraint that we need to keep in mind. His comments come after North Korea revealed it will continue to enhance its nuclear capabilities in 2018 despite pressure from international sanctions to back down. And analyst and former American UN mission spokesman, Jonathan Watchell also warned that Kim Jong-un will continue to build nuclear weapons in a bid to protect his dictatorship. Citing despots Muammar, Gaddafi and Iraq's Saddam Hussein as examples, Mr. Watchell added, they didn't have nuclear deterrence both those dictators are dead. Kim Jong-un knows that if war breaks out, he is probably one of the first casualties. So having a nuclear deterrent is something Kim Jong-un understands in his calculus, trying to survive. In November Donald Trump officially declared North Korea was back on the U.S. watch list for state-sponsored terrorism which includes Iran designated in 1984, Sudan added in 1993, and Syria listed in 1979. The announcement came after a United Nations report revealed that North Korean weapons were discovered on Iranian ships en route to war-torn Somalia. According to the report, the Iranian ship was smuggling machine guns from North Korea to armed militants in Somalia and Libya. A UN diplomat earlier asked, why are Iranian and North Korean small arms finding their way into Somalia from Libya? Do they 